all these people can help you get out. We're cold. Okay, here we are at the beginning of the polar bear club, and there's a bear. <laughs> God, there's going to be some obscene what a gestures. Big bear. <laughs> and there's the other bear. I'm there's the real bear. bear. And Mandy, who's eating snacks. Where'd Mandy go? Oh, there we go. There's Mandy.
Oh, Burr. <laughs> Where's his friend? Fair weather foul. and take the plunge. They have to stay in the water for 30 seconds to prove they're really polar bears. There were a few people who acted like they really enjoyed it. They claim it's invigorating to the body. Some of those watching just thought they were a bit crazy. No, not a bit crazy. Completely Real crazy. crazy right? <laughs> now, on top of the ice in another part of the state, this time we... one man jumped in stark naked. But most people opted for bathing suits in the 32-degree weather. It gets your circulation going, you know, if you're sort of a melancholy person during the year, it gets the blood going and, and flows. And, you know, I wouldn't do it alone. 
Uh, I have a partner that I do it with. After the plunge, a portable hot tub helped the winter bathers get the feeling back in their toes. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it if you hadn't seen it, right? right. <laughs> and Weiss looked on. <laughs> At precisely high noon, Boulder Polar Bear Club members started chipping through the ice. Bright sunshine had warmed the waters to a steamy 31 and a half degrees. This was the fifth year of the New Year's Day tradition at Boulder Reservoir, and organizers said yes, these were the coldest conditions they'd encountered. That was of little comfort to the crowd, made up either of participants anxiously awaiting the icy plunge, or spectators wanting to find out what possesses one to frolic in an ice bath. No one was disappointed, this was just what had been expected. It wasn't difficult finding eager participants. Some 40 folks stepped up, paid the $10 fee. That's right, they paid money to do this, and then experienced something that most of us will only be able to speculate about. They were only allowed 30 seconds of this fun. Men, women, and kids, they all jumped in. One guy so enthused with the moment he decided a bulky swimsuit was a detail he could do without. They tried to act like they were really enjoying the moment, but while the confident smiles were saying one thing, goosebumps and shivers were saying another. It wasn't really bad. Uh, my feet are freezing right now, but other than that, it wasn't too bad at all. Why do you do it? I don't know. I, can't, I think I came here to try to get rid of my cold. I was shocked at that. It was absolutely yeah. awful. <laughs> then why did you do it? I hated every minute of it. Then why did you do it? Because I'm absolutely out of my mind. I think it's a big problem. <laughs> On a day like today, you're really not going to warm up too quickly unless, of course, you have some help. No problem, just roll in one giant hot tub on wheels, complete with a warming, soothing liquid that just might bring back some feeling to those frozen extremities. It must have worked as some club members took five or six dips. Others, especially the newcomers, said once was enough. Just another normal New Year's Day at the Boulder Reservoir. Steve Weiss, Channel 2 News. As normal as normal can be. More sunshine. And here we are at... Polar Bear Club, 
tiptoe through the tulip. Toot, toot. stops the polar bear club from diving into the new year. Channel 2's Greg Luft was there when they took the plunge. This was one way to break the ice as the Boulder Polar Bear Club got ready for a goosebump bonanza. The idea, of course, get in and get out before the big chill gets you. As usual, we will uh, have to start out by having everyone register over here, and you also have to sign a waiver of liability. With legality out of the way, it was time to face reality. 34 degree water surrounded by a 100 acre ice cube. <laughs> Those that had to do it, did it, and some were in a big hurry. Some weren't able to stay in for the suggested 30 seconds, but others didn't have any trouble at all. Take Elvis, for example. He cracked a smile and never even lost it. Altogether, some 90 people took the plunge, which proved to be as about as much fun as the swimmers could handle. Some came as a way to start out the new year right, others came for a shot at prices, while most just came to experience the kind of day that Admiral Perry, Nanook from the North, and Frosty the Snowman might have considered a part of everyday life. It's something special for me because it's a great way to start off the new year. It's kind of a baptism by fire, only this baptism by ice water. It's uh, wonderful for the nervous system, great for the circulation. Did it two years ago, missed it last year, and going to try never to miss it again. It's a blast. It was really cold. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> what do you think Sigmund Freud would say about this? I have no idea. It's probably something sexual. <laughs> Perhaps the ultimate in cold showers for some. An easy spot to have a pizza delivered for others. One man took the plunge from 5,000 feet and all became human ice cubes of a sort. Ice cubes that on this first day of 1989 found that relief is spelled H-O-T-T-U-B. At Boulder Reservoir, Greg Luft, Channel 2 News. What will they think of next? The rest An open house. ...to start the new year. They plunge right into the icy waters of Boulder Reservoir. For good reason, they call themselves the Clan of the Polar Bear. Deanna Saucetta with their story. It's become a tradition at the Boulder Reservoir. Every New Year's, the polar bears come out of hibernation. It ain't bad once, once you get in. <laughs> now, I, really, I really can't understand why people do this, but there's got to be something about this event that you just can't see from the shore because it's been going on for six years. And this year, 75 to 100 people will jump into that water. Now understand, there's no age limit here. Anyone can join in this icy insanity. We started a cold bath without any hot water, and, and then we put some ice cubes in and snow in. Ready? Woo! Okay. 
sure some do prepare for the plunge into 33 degree water, but experts say it isn't necessary. It doesn't take endurance, doesn't take training. All it takes is to be prepared mentally to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, we just got out of the water. Oh, and there are fine rewards for those bears that bear the burr. Yeah, enjoy it. I think it uh, makes your life last longer, you know? I don't remember being this cold last time. As if the very concept of freezing one soul to welcome in the new year isn't novel enough, one brave polar bear went one step beyond and dropped from the sky. Bet you didn't know bears could fly. Hope you have a happy and warm new year. Deanna Saceda, News 4. Switching gears. In the new year by taking a plunge into the icy waters of Boulder Reservoir. All right, Michael, stick it in there. The air was thick with anticipation as the water temperature was measured. Hey, what it is. Back and start from the shore. We'll see. 4 degrees, if you can see. 34. Last year, an axe fell in the water while they were chopping the hole. This year, they used a chainsaw. After the hole was cut, three club members tried to push the ice away. They got wet sooner than expected. These hardy souls have been plunging into Boulder Reservoir for six years now. The Polar Bear Club has about 100 members. Today, it gained 50 new ones. Seven News photographer Derek Reich joined the club. He took the plunge three times. Margaret Sa of the Boulder Daily Camera also decided to see what the fuss was all about. Actually, it's just very young. Um cold and it just hits you it's like a cold shower only about five or ten times worse <laughs> are you gonna renew your membership next year i think once is enough they don't pay me enough to do it <laughs> what do you think of this spectacle i think if you're having a good time go with it have you ever jumped in no but i might someday Nine, you're out Even the canines got in on the action today. After the cold dips, the polar bears trekked up to the hot tub. A few had their limbs massaged. Today's celebration was capped by skydiver extraordinaire Robin Hyde. He maneuvered his parachute to within a few inches of the target. At least he got his feet wet. Lance Hernandez, 7 News. <laughs> you know, I always knew there was something wrong with Derek, and now I know. That's why he was talking a little, a little higher than normal today. Polar bear plunge, an event that takes your breath away. It's my honor to bid you all welcome to this, the sixth annual midwinter celebration. Well, there's a familiar sound, sawing through frozen Boulder Reservoir, so a few crazy people can take a dip. Go! <laughs> Only one problem, the hole freezes up as fast as it's cut out. Finally, a breakthrough, and another New Year's Day tradition is underway. These people are nuts, but hey, they don't care. So why do they do it? There isn't a better way to start off the new year than to rejuvenate your soul, and rejuvenate your spirit by jumping in 32 degree water. It's a natural high, it's like, my whole body's buzzing, and the sky's blue, the snow is white, it's a beautiful day. Happy New Year. And there's another reason these polar bears are out here. Brain dance! <laughs> About 90 people showed up for today's event, and they all learned one very important lesson. Domino's does deliver everywhere. Baby, I don't care. Our producer, Danielle Zig, had a wonderful line tonight. Where were those folks when they were trying to save the whales up there trapped <laughs> in the ice? They might yeah, have helped out. Yeah, <laughs> might have helped out. Still ahead on 9 News. USA.
You okay, bud? Thank you. 
nose is cold. <laughs> Somebody for governor. Winfield. I think Winfield for governor or something else. There's Polar Bear Club from jumping in. Watch this. One, two, 120 people, and you could say 120 crazy people, took part in the annual New Year's Day dip, jumping through a hole in the ice. Now, a Norwegian who lives in Boulder, and this is true, won the endurance contest for the second year in a row. He stayed in the water for 26 minutes, 10 seconds before plunging into a hot tub. Like I said, I think they're crazy. <laughs> Ooh. Beginning of the year, you just get such a thrill out of it because it's like you look back at the water and you're like, how stupid was that? But it's not, it's fun. <laughs> More than a hundred people took the plunge. At least one of them set a new record. One man stayed in the freezing water for 26 minutes. Mm. I have to ask why. Yes. I don't understand. Some of us do have to ask why. <laughs> 1992, John is going to be jumping in the water fairly in a little while. And he's down here trying to get ready. Wave! You're on, John. Here we go. Who's that? Watch that clock, man. Watch that clock. You're out of there. Everything is numb. icy boulder reservoir today channel 2's anna osborne and photographer ron boyd were there for the 1992 polar bear plunge take his money. money okay who do we have here christine as members of the boulder polar bear club cut a hole in the four inch ice 
People planning to take the ninth annual plunge sign all the paperwork. Read those over carefully. Make sure that you understand what you're getting yourself into. If you die, okay, too bad. <laughs> then it's time to get undressed or dressed up, as the case may be. Black tie all the way. Why do this? You want to do it? It's fun. It's cold. It's still warmer than Lake Michigan, however. And how do you prepare for a dip in 33 degree water? Drink heavily. Others sing. Tomorrow we'll be coughing and sneezing because we're standing in water that's freezing. Then, with rescuers at the ready, the big chill begins. in the eye of the sharp stick. It's hard to breathe, though. Most people are in and out in a hurry, but this guy is one of several people who stayed in for a half an hour or more. Now, if that's not enough to cool you off, afterwards you can have a cold beer, a cold Coke, or even some ice cream. If ice cream doesn't sound good, how about some pizza in the pool? After that, most people hit the hot tubs to try and thaw out. What a way to welcome 1992. Anna Osborne, Channel 2 News. It was the ninth annual Boulder Polar Bear Club party. The man who started it all says it's not only good clean fun, it's good for you. Only it does uh, improve your uh, circulation. I mean, uh, for example, if you go back and forth between the hot tubs that we have up there and the cold plunge out here, uh, you get this very warm, uh, burning sensation all over the skin that lasts for several days thereafter. Party, dude! A 38-year-old nurse from Denver broke a record this year, staying in the water for 36 and a half minutes. And a record number of people took the plunge with her. Okay, this is January 1. 1993, and we're in Estes Park, and let's see what we can do about, there's the Stanley Hotel, it's in the mountains, and John's going to be jumping in Lake Estes this year instead of the Boulder Reservoir, and where is... And there's John, Tyler, and Tracy. John, tell the ki tell us which year this is. The sixth year that he's going to jump in the water on New Year's Day. So John's going to jump in with the ducks. Ready to get in. There's some of the pretty scenery. And John's new truck. our duck.
There's our white balance. <laughs> oh, quit that. Pizza eyes waiting there for you. <laughs> oh, this is rough. You can't go in all at once. No, you can't. Are you playing, duck? Well, let's hear you quack. Let's show, show me. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Tracy. Right Look at bottom. Hi. 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 All right. The question is, one more time or no? Yes. You want me to go in one more time? Yes. Yes. Oh. All right.
New Year or something. Well, I'll tell you, Happy New Year. <laughs> happy New Year, 1993. And this time we avoided the crowds. And instead of paying $15 for paramedics, we're going to go for lunch. Maybe a new ear drum. Oh! Whew. You did. Lots, lots of linguine. Okay, yeah, let's find Tracy's pretty rock. Show me your pretty rock, Tracy. I Okay, Tracy's pretty rock. Okay, well on the count of three guys, let's say Happy New Year. One, two, three. Happy New Year! Anybody have anything to say? I do, I do. What do you got to say? This is fun. Yeah, <laughs> what are we going to go do now? Yes, let's go eat. <laughs> I'm trying to find Daddy and he ran away. <laughs> Didn't he, Tracy? Yeah. Mom, huh? Oh, let's hurry up and go eat. Tell me, hurry. Daddy wants to go. Ow. You ready? Yeah. Okay, bye bye. bye. Hard. Happy New Year. And John's going to go swimming. Kids, come tell the camera Happy New Year. Happy New Year! We have got a Tracy boat and a daddy, but we don't have a Tyler. Happy New Year! And Tyler year left his glasses last night. What? Tracy, you gonna feed the ducks?
Tyler, put your hat on. Tracy, put your hat on. This is the car conference. We're gonna, I'm gonna end up just running out instead of standing in the, standing in the water and then coming back out and going back in and coming out and going back in. I'm just gonna go out and take one big dive and I'm trying to wait for the wind to go down but I don't think it's gonna happen and it's not gonna be comfortable so I'll just go ahead and do it. So that's what we're doing. Bye-bye. 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 ready to get out of the car. And go for his swim. You ready? Yep. What? Thank you. 
year. <laughs> I think it was so good. I'm going to try one more time. The burn started to float off. Now. <laughs> it doesn't burn so bad. <laughs> what did you say, Tracy? Happy New Year! Happy yeah. New Year! Take a picture of your daddy in the water? Close? No. Just close the door. Don't drag it in the dirt, please. Wait just a second, there's a cold wind gust. Check and see if you're ready. Yeah. What you doing, John?
It's January 1st, 1995. And where do you think we're at? We're in Astis. We are... In Lake Astis, in Astis Park. Over there is our famous Stanley that we show every year to indicate where we're at. There's lots of duckers here today. And it's rather cold. Not as windy as last year, though. How cold was it this morning? It was minus 10 this morning. In town. So who knows what the temperature is here, but the wind chill is pretty hefty. And there's a couple of little natives. Ty, zip up your coat. Hey, kiddos. Hey, kiddos. Tracy, Tyler, Daddy's got the video on. There's our toothless wonder. And we have my special friend, Tony. That's Tony Rezaie, formerly known as Azizla Rezaika. And Tyler's learning duck language. Noisy one. Yeah. Here he is getting ready to get in the water. Showing off his, his wonderful tan there. <laughs> Shake his booty. It is the wind blowing and it's kind of cold. Ooh. This is John's friend Tony from work. He's ready. <laughs> okay, get it over with. Oh, you don't count for me. <laughs> Daddy, no, no. Make sure they stay on. He's getting ready, I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, it's on.
was like, heading oh, down. What in the world? They went by the other direction. Sun's going behind that mountain. I want a picture, a good picture with me and Tony. Yeah. Okay, well, you're on. This is my friend Tony. <laughs> he came to support me. Okay, yeah. there's a... Behind you. Okay, is that it for now? Make it six. Maybe. Well, we'll t turn it off for a while. Wait, it's it's froze. End. It's the annual snow jump and mm, running the ice. water. <laughs> There's ice there now. Okay, we'll go do your Those best. people were from Hawaii, and they said they'd never been in any cold weather before now. And oh. they just moved here. And they saw me, and they didn't know what to think. <laughs> now they don't, <laughs> after talking to me either. Oh, and one more time, number and three. And one more time, more. Okay, here. Right. Right. Tyler, you're following your father. You gonna follow him into the water? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Get one more 
person. Mommy and no say. And the ducks are flying away. Mommy, help <laughs> out. And there goes Tyler for the snow down. Snow down. Mommy, get me in He's here. He's coming too. in. Mommy, when he comes in, we go for me. Doing the snow, jump into snow thing. Go help your dad. Hey, you go. Hey, Mommy. Go help no, go your get. father, please. Oh. Dad, now get her to go and get me in a picture. Okay, now we turn over to Tyler, which is right here, which is going to do the snow jump. All right, here he goes for the water run. Okay, wishing you a very happy no, no. Cut. New Cut. Year, 1995. Andy, one more act. Bye. here and mom's getting pretty tired of waiting she's getting grouchy so I'm gonna get out of the truck <laughs> and Happy New Year. is anybody gonna put their foot in uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Me. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tracy thinks she's gonna put her foot in I don't know it'll be in the water or in her mouth but <laughs> uh, I might put my finger in okay see you <laughs> Goose is waiting for you, John. I'll be the blue sky's heading our way too. Okay. Okay. You ready? I'm ready and I'm on. I'm oh. The goose is calling you.
if I can find it. It's a lock. Stanley. I locked him out. See, see if he was brave enough. Tracy. My hand's numb. That feels good. It feels like rubber. Stanley's up there. Yeah, but I thought you got out of the car. Yeah. Dad. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> it's yeah. frozen still. <laughs> Mom. Mommy. Here goes the um, featherless duck. No, the featherless duck, which is the featherless duck that gets wet. Mm -hmm. That is the craziest dad ever. <laughs> He gets the whole life to himself. Except for the ducks. I know. Ducks are here. Mom, um, my hand. I can't even, I can hardly feel the seat. Oh. I can't feel I it. think he lost his shoe. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think so too. towards the ducks. He thinks that she's going to feed them. Her pants are going to get wet. Yeah, her foot her shoes going to go in. Yeah, I think that too. Anybody going to go help her? <laughs> like this? <laughs> One side, Tyler, and can't see your sister. <laughs> Time to do a little dance. Time for our round two on hand in. Mom, keep it around because I'm gonna put my hand in again. But this is not both. <laughs> What did you say earlier that you were going to do next year? Jump in the lake with Dad and when? be a polar bear cub. So in 1997, Seven. Tracy's going to jump in the water with me. And the duck's laughing. <laughs> They're going, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. To her toes.
wants to go again, but there's this one car that won't go away. They're sitting there feeding the ducks. <laughs> so he's waiting for them to leave. In the meantime, the same came out over there on the ridge, so I thought we'd film it. Looks like it's flat. And we're doing pretty good filming, too. <laughs> and the truck won't move. You Tracy, let's see your face. I got him, keeper. The big fish. <laughs> Hope 1996 and is way better than 1995. See you. Bye. Yes, it is. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that big wiggly worm. Oh, that's talent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Somehow you can fold your tongue again. Look at that. Tyler and Tracy both want to show you. That's handy. So Tyler, what year is it? 1998. Closer to my birthday now. <laughs> and about four after 12. And it's the morning after, playing in the Stanley which is over there behind the car somewhere. Yeah, you can't see and it. I'm not here. Something. And we spent the night at the night MCA. At the who? YMCA. Is that a dog pound? No. No, we're being shown something I can't quite focus it on. <laughs> Well, anyway, Deer it's Ridge. Deer Ridge, number 213. 218. All right, close enough. 218. Uh, Tracy wants to show you what she can do with her tongue there. Look how long and skinny that is. Isn't <laughs> and then, that special? Does it have strip on the inside? No, we can't tell. Bunny face there is head to temperature. <laughs> and there's the other funny face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright. Well, the next shots are going to be it. 
And there's the master photographer. I will not get out of the car. <laughs> Sponsored by dogs. the fluffy white bear. <laughs> Polar bear of the day. Hey, he's ready. Well, he's going the other direction. He gets a floaty thing. He takes the yellow thing off and he puts it back in and he hoings on. Ah, there he is. He it. He's an elephant. I didn't get that. Join your dad?
gonna be a cold one. <sighs> yeah, I can start to feel my back again. <laughs> It's bur it burns. <laughs> it's, uh, 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 well, the water warmed up on your head, <laughs> and you look like your ears. again for another dip in. What a chiller! <laughs> and there's the jumping. <laughs> this is your dad being very... Crazy. <laughs> Energetic. <laughs> Weighing in at 170 pounds. What? We have the white duck. Yeah. You're not white anymore. You're too cold. You're red. The red duck. for the golf ball. Well, I'll look for it on this side. That's it.